A program at St. Joseph's Healthcare in Hamilton is introducing patients to dogs. During the pandemic, therapeutic animal visits stopped at the West 5th campus, but now there's a new four-legged staff member. Sean Cowan got to meet him today and brings us this story. You recognize me, don't you, Scout? You know who I am. Where's your frisbee? Meet Scout, a 20-month-old Leanburger dog. Not only is he a big bundle of fluff, he's also the newest member of St. Joe's forensic mental health team at the West 5th campus on the Hamilton Mountain. Here at St. Joe's, not, not only think about, you know, people's medications and their mental status, but also their well-being. And we do know that uh, interactions with animals uh, produce a degree of uh, warmth uh, and positive feelings that you probably can't get from some of the other things that we do. 120 patients live full-time at St. Joe's. During the pandemic, visits from regular therapy animals stopped, but the hospital saw a need to reintroduce this type of care. Deinstitutionalizes the place. It makes it feel like home. It makes it feel comfortable. He's fluffy and he's dark, but long haired and he's so soft. So Scout is here at the hospital five days a week between the hours of 9 to 4 p.m., kind of like a regular employee. And he doesn't only interact with patients, but also staff members. Our staff are working incredibly hard. Uh, burnout is really high. This has been a tremendously tough time through the pandemic. Our staff um, have gone to work every day. Um, and this is the sort of thing that really adds to the quality of their lives and brings a smile to everybody's face. Scout is owned by the hospital, but his handler, Ashley, is also his foster mom after work. It's the best job. <laughs> This is definitely the best job. And he has so much appreciation. People love being around him. He brings a calm to the environment, especially in areas if it's a high stress day that they can he can uh, offer some help and support. He's happy, he's contained, he's just lovable. The hospital is monitoring Scout's work and interactions. They're asking both patients and staff to answer weekly surveys about how they're feeling. So far, the pilot program is a success. And the doctor says it's all part of making the hospital feel a little bit more like home for some. Scout was donated by a breeder and he's currently being funded by the St. Joseph's Healthcare Foundation.